Fentanyl. This drug is creating an army of zombies in the United States. There are thousands and thousands of people wandering, lost and dazed around the suburbs of the cities. Welcome to a new episode of our series, The Effects of Drugs. Today, we'll focus on fentanyl, a synthetic opioid that is 50 times more powerful than heroin and a staggering 100 times more powerful than morphine. Ciao ragazzi, this video was written and filmed in Italian by our team of scientists, storytellers and video makers. We are Italians. It was manually translated into English, but dubbed with artificial intelligence. Long live culture and let's go back to the video. It may seem absurd, but fentanyl, before becoming a dangerous drug, was actually embraced by the scientific community as a truly miraculous pharmaceutical. It was first synthesized by Paul Janssen in 1960, and it is without a doubt one of the most potent and highly efficient painkillers in the history of medicine. In fact, fentanyl is a drug that is still in use today. It is used, for example, to ameliorate the intense pain associated with certain conditions, as well as for its anesthetic properties. Regrettably, though, the effects of fentanyl are so powerful that it has proliferated rapidly on the illegal market, with truly tragic and devastating consequences. In 2021 alone, fentanyl was responsible for a whopping 90%, that's right, I said 90%, of the roughly 80,000 opioid-related deaths in the United States. A truly shocking number. But why is this drug so dangerous? How does it affect your body from a biochemical point of view? Obviously, our chemist Dina will tell us. Let's start by saying that fentanyl is a synthetic opioid. So an opioid that is produced exclusively in a lab without starting from molecules found in nature. Heroin, on the other hand, is a semi-synthetic opioid because it is derived from morphine, which is found naturally in opium. Anyway, fentanyl is a white substance that can be taken in different ways, ingested as a pill, crushed and then snorted, injected, smoked, or even absorbed through special patches, the ones that are applied to the skin and slowly release the substance, the so-called transdermal patches. The peculiar thing about this substance is that its effect is lightning fast. It's actually one of the fastest opioids that we know of. The speed at which fentanyl acts is also due to its lipophilic nature, its ability to mix with or to dissolve in fats. And since the brain is extremely fatty, it's actually the fattiest organ in the human body, about 60 to 65% fat, fentanyl quickly penetrates it, crossing the barrier that protects it, the blood-brain barrier. And once in the brain, Fentanyl causes the user to experience a powerful sense of well-being, overall relaxation, and essentially makes all our physical pain disappear. But how does this thing work? I mean, how does it eliminate pain biochemically speaking? Well, normally when you hurt yourself, for example, if you hurt your finger, the pain impulse starts from your finger, travels through your body, and reaches the brain. So. This signal in the brain activates the pain receptors and you experience pain. What do fentanyl and other opioids do? Fentanyl goes and binds itself to these receptors, interrupting the sensation of pain. So regardless of where the signal comes from, whether it's from your finger, your arm, your neck or your back, the pain signal no longer reaches the brain because the fentanyl blocks it. All of this causes the user to feel a really strong sense of relaxation. You know how you feel after a day at the spa and you come out feeling extremely relaxed? Well, it's like that, but much, much more powerful. But fentanyl doesn't just act on pain receptors. It also influences dopamine release, creating a strong sense of pleasure and a feeling of well-being. So in the end, the overall effect of fentanyl is relaxation, general pleasure, euphoria and well-being. Just so you know, fentanyl is considered to be 100 times more potent than morphine and up to 50 times stronger than heroin. This helps us understand why those who use it can barely stand, finding themselves wandering around like zombies in a state of semi-consciousness. Regrettably, all of these enjoyable sensations compel users to take an additional hit and then another and another, causing them to easily develop an addiction. At that stage, their sole priority in life becomes the constant pursuit of another fix. The problem is that the more you use the substance, the greater the tolerance your body develops over time. This means that to achieve the same high that you experienced when you first took the drug, you'll have to take increasingly larger doses. And when you become accustomed to the substance, if you stop taking it, it can trigger genuine withdrawal symptoms, which are dreadful circumstances in which the addict experiences anxiety, nervousness, 
muscle pain, insomnia, stomach cramps, and depression. In short, a truly terrible situation. So if at first you're driven by the desire to experience pleasure and feelings of well-being, once addiction and tolerance develop, your only desire will be to avoid experiencing the horrible sensations that withdrawal provokes. Basically, you take fentanyl just to stop the pain. So dependency and tolerance are two very risky factors because they feed off each other. And the tragic thing is that these two things can lead to an overdose. So taking so much that fentanyl becomes a real poison. And with fentanyl, regrettably, it's not particularly hard to overdose. The lethal dose is about two milligrams. And guys, two milligrams is a minuscule amount. We're talking about a few tiny crystals. If you exceed this quantity, so if you take more than two milligrams, the risk is that your lungs will relax to such an extent that they will no longer function properly, causing respiratory depression. This can decrease the amount of oxygen reaching the brain, causing hypoxia. Hypoxia can result in a coma, permanent brain damage, and ultimately even death. There are a number of life-saving medications, though, which can be used in the event of an opioid overdose. In the case of fentanyl, for example, there's naloxone, a substance that can displace the fentanyl molecules and bind to opioid receptors. In this way, the vital functions, especially those related to the respiratory system, will slowly start to recover, saving the drug user's life. Oh my goodness, it's powerful stuff. A devastating drug. Just consider that about 150 people die every day from overdoses of synthetic opioids like fentanyl. A horrible situation that has clearly caught the attention of the entire world. I hope that after watching this video, if and when you hear talk about fentanyl, you'll be able to say that you know something about it. Thanks to Geopop. Thank you very much for sticking with us until the end. See you again soon here on Geopop Everyday Science. Ciao.